For more information on these options, see the printed manual. Press the Go key to test and charge a battery. Make sure you wear your safety glasses and protective gloves before proceeding. Visually inspect the battery before placing it in the charging chamber. Remember, do not proceed if there is physical damage to the battery case or terminals, or if the battery appears to be frozen. Use a notepad to record the battery's rated CCA, which stands for cold cranking amps. You can find the CCA rating on the label on top of the battery. Some batteries use alternative ratings such as cranking amps, marine cranking amps, or reserve capacity. You can use one of these if CCA is not available. When you connect the clamps, make sure you connect the red clamp to the positive terminal and the black clamp to the negative terminal. Place the battery into the charging chamber. For side terminal batteries, use the side terminal adapters supplied with the one step. Do not use a bolt or attempt to connect only one side of the jaw to the terminal. Do not start the test charge cycle if the door is open or if the door or latch is damaged. Close the door and press the go key. Press clear if the test must be stopped at any time. Do not remove the charging cables while the test charge cycle is in progress. If you do not have pictures of batteries with bad conditions, contact East Penn for pictures. Now you must select the type of battery. There are two basic types to choose from. Press 2 if the battery is an AGM, gel cell, or Optima. These are identified by name on the battery label. Press 1 if the battery is not an AGM, gel cell, or Optima. These other flooded lead acid batteries are the most common type you will test. You are now prompted to enter the CCA value that you wrote down earlier. Use the keypad to enter the CCA value. Press the down arrow key if you need to enter an alternative rating such as CA, MCA, or reserve capacity. Once you have entered the correct value, press Go to test the battery. The one step tests the battery and determines its state of charge. This test takes just under a minute. A countdown timer shows the progress. If the battery is bad, the screen will indicate it should be replaced. If the battery is not bad, but is low in charge or needs further analysis, the one step will automatically begin the charge sequence. During the battery charge sequence, the charge status indicates the battery's level of discharge and the estimated charging time. For example, 100% discharge is completely dead and will take longer to charge. A battery that tests as good but is over 25% discharged indicates either a charging system problem or an excessive parasitic draw. These conditions should be discussed with the customer. The progress status light indicates that either the battery load test or charge process are taking place. Do not remove the battery during either of these cycles. After approximately 10 minutes, the one step will test the battery again to update the progress of the charge cycle. Note, at this point, the battery may be determined to be defective. After the charge cycle is complete, the one step performs a final test to confirm that the battery is good and can be returned to service. After the charge and test cycle is completed, the one step will display a message indicating the final condition of the battery. Battery is good is displayed if the battery passed the tests and has been charged enough to be put back into service. The good status light will glow. Battery is bad is displayed if the battery failed the test or could not be adequately recharged. The bad status light will glow. 
To clean the outside surface of the battery charger and analyzer, follow these precautions and steps. Before cleaning, make sure you unplug the battery charger and analyzer from the electrical supply before performing any maintenance. Do not spray excessive liquids on the battery charger and analyzer case. They may enter the case and cause permanent damage to the electrical components. Flammable liquids may cause an explosion. Immediately replace the battery charger and analyzer cable if it is worn or damaged. Clean the outside of the case, stand, and the cables with a mild multi-purpose cleaner. Again, do not allow excessive moisture to seep into the case. While cleaning the cables, inspect for damage and replace as necessary. Do not use solvents or harsh cleaners on the cables. The chemicals will eventually dry them out and cause them to crack. Keep the cable clamp ends clean. Use a small wire brush if necessary. There are no user serviceable components located on the inside of the tester. All servicing should be performed by qualified service personnel. Replacement and optional parts can be ordered directly from SPX. These include the charging cables, power cord, rubber mat, and charging chamber door and latch assembly. With proper care and maintenance, your one-step battery charger and analyzer will give you years of dependable service. If you have any questions on the operation of this product, please call 800-533-6127 or contact us at this address.